what is up you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tari K and we are back with another video so I want to just say if you are new here my name is Tari K and I create lifestyle fashion beauty content okay so I hope you enjoy it um I hope you guys are happy and healthy whenever wherever you're watching this and let's just get into the video okay so basically I just wanted to kind of come on here and just do a little bit of a chit chat um just about life okay i feel like life is always lifing for people um i feel like <laughs> for some some years are better than most i will say that um throughout my 30 something years of life um i have learned that a lot of times you just gotta go with the punches okay and there will be times and seasons in your life where the punches will literally knock the wind out of you will knock the wind out of your spirit will knock the wind out of your life will just drain you as well okay um i'm just gonna go into a little bit of my um personal life just you know touch on a little bit of my personal experiences and say that although life sometimes is life in life can also be amazing um you know i really just wanted to just say that if you feel like you are in a season of your life where life is life in where it's knocking the wind out of you where you are like i don't even know boxing like that but if you are just going through the ringer and you are just you know having knockout after knockout after knockout there are times when you come out of chill you get the belt you win and you know how i won i won with god i literally was praying i um i had to turn to, to, to god <laughs> i had to turn to jesus <laughs> i had to get out the ring and put him in i had to tap him in i was like god hey tap me out like I'm so serious tap me out because oh, the struggle is absolutely real so I'll just like give a little bit of like I guess you could say my testimony if y'all were interested so for me last year I went through a very tough period at the very beginning of the year um I was a new mom um, at the time we're gonna just go back in time a little bit to January of 2023 um, when my life changed for at the time I felt like it was just the worst thing that could ever happen to me but I realized that it was a huge blessing in disguise and I'm just kind of gonna talk to you about how I kept my faith and how 2020 year i'm sorry 2020 year 2023 turned out to be one of the best years of my life didn't start that way I'll tell you that right now but it sure ended out pretty great so basically long story short and not to get into too much um but i found myself four months postpartum and i found myself to be a single mother um i found myself moving back in with my mother <laughs> i moved back to my hometown i had said i would never move back there never say never and i will say when you make plans god literally laughs at you so i found myself falling into a really um deep depression um sorry it's still kind of sore for me but um I thought my life had ended I thought my life was over um and just pause really quick because I'm sorry I'm trying to do my makeup and I'm getting a little teary-eyed because I'm just thinking about my journey and how crazy everything happened how everything turned out because I know the ending <laughs> um well not the ending but I know the continuation of it and it's like when I tell you God is so good like I didn't see it at the time I was in a really really dark place um 
where I had to fall to my knees and pray. Pray my way out of it. I'm gonna tell you what saved me at the time. God, my child and my mother. That's what saved me because I was already going through postpartum and at the time I didn't want to claim my like, postpartum depression. I was like, no, that's not happening to me. That's not what this is. But I was I was in the thick of it. Life was life for me. It was just a lot. Um you know, a lot going on. And I just found myself um in another season. My my the season that I was experiencing was motherhood, but then I also was trying to experience being a single mother on top of that um it's not how i thought at the time things were supposed to turn out it's not how i planned for things to happen but you know things happen and it is what it is so anyway i um i you know um moved back home and i i fell into a really deep um funk didn't want to i didn't want to do anything i didn't want to go anywhere only thing i could focus on was working my child and just like keeping my head above water <laughs> that's all I could focus on I was angry like when I tell you I was angry and sometimes like I feel like I still get angry about things but this anger was consuming me it was literally consuming me. it was consuming my like soul so I ended up praying um I started going back to church I had not been to church in forever I'm not gonna lie I would read my bible like I, I could read scripture, I could listen to my gospel music. You know, I would praise the Lord, I would pray. But um, I just needed something more. So I ended up going um, to church. I started therapy. Y'all, when I tell you ther therapy, <laughs> you need you need therapy i i truly i truly believe in therapy you just have to find the right therapist you have to find somebody that you mesh with um but i went through therapy i started just like you know making some like some changes that i wish i had like done before my life had basically hit rock bottom in my opinion um but I started going to therapy I went to church I was praying I was just basically having to sit in my feelings I basically grew up and I was accustomed to burying my feelings I could cut somebody off at a heartbeat. I couldn't ignore somebody. And I feel like at times, because I'm human, I still will sometimes cut people off. But I have learned, and I'm learning that even if I cut you off for a little bit, I still have to like go back and have a conversation. Anyway, I, you know, I would, I had unhealthy habits. And the way that I just kind of, had to work through those unhealthy habits was crazy <laughs> and so I started in implementing sorry I started implementing boundaries so some things that that helped me was my faith my support system my family um and therapy so I said all that to say that everything is not for everybody I'm gonna say it one more time everything is not for everybody but I truly believe that you have to find what works for you you have to find your people the people that are for you because everybody ain't for you and the way I pulled myself out of that horrible season and put myself into a new one with the help of God <laughs> God definitely did that okay um I I'll try to touch on that a little bit but um I just you know I did the work <laughs> you have to do the work you know you have to have faith that everything will work out you have to lean on your people trust in your people you have to trust in yourself give yourself grace give yourself patience like just you know 
just make a decision that that God did not bring you here to leave you. Nine times out of ten, he brought you here for a reason. He's going to only have you here for a season, okay? So, you have to make the choice to just listen. So, just unplug your ears. Um, open up your mind. Open up your heart. And trust him. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. You gotta trust in the Lord because, honey, <laughs> if last year didn't teach me nothing else. It taught me that God is real. I knew God was real. I've had so many things happen in my life, but I, I knew God was real. But I had to get back to my, my roots. <laughs> I had to get back to opening up my ears and listening to what God was saying to me. Because I had spent so many years ignoring Him. He had shown me so many signs and so many times that. <laughs> I don't, I don't want you on this path. This is not the path that I have designed for you. But you keep being hard-headed. Because that's what children do. Children are hard-headed. They do what they want to do. They find out themselves. And so the Lord's like, okay, well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you and then I'm going to help you. I'm going to figure it out yourself and I'm going to help you out of this. But I will say, when God pulled me out of that season he pulled me out of that funk he sent me my husband <laughs> he he sent me the life that I had prayed for he sent me the life that I was destined to have with the person I was destined to have it with and my life is not perfect. <laughs> so don't, don't sit here and say that. Because my life ain't perfect, okay? By any means. But my life is everything that I pray for. Um, I pray for my child. Um, I pray for my husband. And it didn't happen in the way that I thought it would. But it turned out... Um, in the perfect way you know it, it turned out it came at the perfect time like I had to go through therapy um and find out how to love myself before I could meet someone who could love me the way that God intended for me to be loved so if I don't say nothing else on this um on this little video here on this YouTube channel I'm going to just say this and I'm going to say it again. God is real. Um, God is a miracle worker. He literally... He... He literally... Works everything out for your good. God is love. God will literally lift you out of your deepest darkest hole and put you in something that you wouldn't even imagine and I literally can't like I cannot rejoice enough I can't say enough how extremely blessed I am how extremely thankful I am how extremely grateful I am I'm just <laughs> ecstatic. Like, I am so thankful for everything that has happened. I'm thankful for what, what didn't work out. I'm thankful for the times that I had with people I no longer, you know, have a relationship with. I'm thankful for every single thing that have, has led me to this point. Like... I am, I am, because had I not, like, experienced a lot of things I've experienced in my life, had I not experienced, you know, being laid off from jobs or, um, failed relationships or failed friendships or, you know, just all of these things, I wouldn't be able to appreciate what I have now. I wouldn't be able to appreciate who I have now. I just, I wouldn't have so much gratitude for this life so, yeah but 
if you are in if you are in a season where you feel just low if you are in a season where you feel like there's no one you can turn to like there is nothing to you know live here for you have a purpose you are important you are loved if you need someone to reach out to I'm here <laughs> I am here um things that have helped me like I said my faith um my therapy my family my support system everybody doesn't have that so what I will say is that if you feel like you don't have anyone or anything just start talking like just start getting your story out there if you need to hop on youtube or instagram or tiktok or what's that one called x i don't know anyway <laughs> that's beside the point if you need to hop on social media to get your message out there to people just so people can hear you so your voice can be heard do that if you need to just journal do that if you need to scream and shout from the rooftops do that whatever you need to do to feel seen to feel heard do that i'm here because i know that it's very hard to pull yourself out of a really dark place when you feel like everyone that you know or love not even everyone just if you feel like there were people that you just loved with everything in you and you just feel like they turned their backs on you you're not alone you know i'm sure those people probably still care about you in their own way and that's okay find your people <laughs> find your people and like i said if you can't find your people i'll be your people i hope you're okay with me talking because i'm a talker but anyway um i'm going to finish up my face really quick and i will just come back with a final look um hope you guys are happy and healthy thank you for listening to my little chit chat my little rant um i appreciate you being here seriously and like i said i'm trying to get back to this whole youtube thing because i really did miss doing this i missed you guys um i was kind of going through like my old videos because i i did a lot of flight attendant related content and i just hope that whoever is stuck around <laughs> um is still okay <laughs> with you know it's just being normal on me not flight attendant stuff um i do have a really big trip planned this year my husband actually planned it it's for our one year anniversary so i'm super excited and i will like share with you guys um closer to that time like where we're going so anywho i'll be back when i finish up my face okay so just i'll be right back All right guys, so I finished up my look. Um, this is what it looks like. So, bye. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to like this video. Please leave me a comment if you really appreciated the message. Um, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to at least a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. You know, hopefully more, but I want to grow this community. I want to grow this family. Um, so if you really like it, please subscribe, follow along for this journey. And I just want to say thank you again for watching. I also want to say that some things that really worked for me was just, you know, really tapping into my faith, um, really leaning on my support system therapy of course and something that therapy taught me is to set boundaries <laughs> you have to set boundaries because when you don't set boundaries it really affects your mental health I know for me it did um, I feel like as a human there's only so much you can take so I hope that if you were in a place where you just need someone that you'll reach out to me I'm here my handle is the same for all of my social media accounts Instagram TikTok whatever um, if you want to DM me that's fine if you want to just put in a comment that's fine however you want to reach out if you need to please do um, I I'm here I don't mind listening I don't mind talking um, 
I just know how it can be to feel like you just are at your wits end <laughs> and I just that feeling I don't wish on my worst enemy I just pray that everybody can find their people I pray that everybody can find a way to just have a better outlook on life to have a better life of course and um yeah that's all I wanted to say so I'm sorry if this turned into like a mini rant I apologize I probably was all over the place <laughs> but um yeah once again thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning in I love you guys and I hope that I see you in my next video <laughs>